Welcome to Yoga with Smiles. We have yoga on Tuesdays and today we are going to have smile tips. And our topic for today is uh, taking care of being, how to feel balanced and uh, your base, base area issues. Okay. So I want to ask you a question. I have this apple here. How heavy do you think this is? How heavy do you, what do you think is the weight of this apple? Grams. few grams this pomegranate yeah. what do you think is the weight of this you are than that okay now if i have to hold this apple and pomegranate in my hand do you think it is difficult it's easy no. or difficult it's easy isn't it not difficult okay but what if I give you this apple and pomegranate and I tell you to hold it in your hand for one hour. Will it be difficult? Not so much. Two hours, one day. Oh my God. Five days. Oh my God. One year. Oh my God. It's terrible, isn't it? You know, the apple will start get rotting and it will start smelling and you will not let go of this apple and you will keep holding on to this apple and this orange, uh, this pomegranate. Okay? You will keep holding on to it, keep holding on to it and you will keep storing it inside your hand and your hand will start paining. Your nerves will start paining. Your blood circulation will start you know, getting irritated and still you will not let go of this apple. Imagine how terrible it will be to keep holding on to this apple, this pomegranate or whatever else it is. So what is the connection between this and today's topic? Okay. So remember, there are different things that happen to you in your life. There are people who act funny, there are circumstances which are funny, which you may not like, okay? If you think of it by itself, that circumstance or that person may be quite light. But you are the one who is making it heavy by storing it within yourself. So over the years, we keep storing and storing and storing and storing and storing so many things that keep happening to us. There are different experiences that happen to us and we keep storing it within ourselves. And one day, imagine if you keep taking and keep storing kilos and kilos and kilos and kilos of experiences, what is going to happen to you? Ultimately, you will become imbalanced. Correct? Now, there is a scientific uh, study done, okay, by our ancient people and they have found out that, you know, okay, right now we know we are, we are combining our soft skills lessons with energy centers, with the chakras and today we are going to talk about the base chakra or the muladhara chakra, the one that is there at your base. Okay, base of your spine, uh, at the base of your trunk, okay, that is called the Moladhara Chakra and that is your foundation chakra. So that is the base which stores all your experiences. The experiences that you go through yourself and even the experiences of your ancestors. It's hidden, it doesn't come out. Okay, that is what our ancient people say. But every time there is an imbalance between your, uh, in your Moladhara Chakra, okay, that is the first chakra, then it manifests in some kind of a physical problem or an emotional pro or a psychological problem or different kinds of problems you'll have when there is an imbalance in your base chakra. And this is one chakra which keeps changing because you keep having different experiences. Now imagine if you 
build a wonderful house fancy house with swanky rooms and unbelievable furnishings and excellent uh, different kind of uh, you name it and it is there in the house you are so proud to show off this house to the whole world but imagine that this house does not have a toilet and the she toilets are so dirty no need of toilet in this house imagine how horrible all that muck and all that dirt of the house will be just stored and stored and stored inside and that is what happens to you and the whole foundation of the house will get shaken so a topic for today is how you can get your balance okay most of the time in life what we are doing is that we are we have to keep rebalancing this base muladhara chakra and this energy center is related with your relationship to feeling secure or feeling balanced so there are different ways in which we can uh manage this base chakra okay if there is a imbalance you will find lot of physical problems people with constipation or eating disorders or lower back pain issues you know or people with leg issues all of them are having issues with their base chakra okay so you have to understand that this is one energy center that you have to keep working on again and again okay it is natural most of us will get imbalanced at some stage or the other okay because obviously we are humans and there are different experiences that we get and these experiences will imbalance us okay so let us see now it is our responsibility to take care of our energy center so one of the things of this um, uh, this energy center is this energy center is represented with feeling secure you know see your back your back represents support it represents security and if you are if you have tension if you have worry about not being supported enough you know suppose there is a financial issues people who feel that they don't have financial support you know they are the ones who live from a place of insecurity live from a place of scarcity okay so now let us take responsibility on how we can keep keep getting our balance back in order okay how do we get balanced so i want to ask you one question can you see this thing properly i don't i'm going to put it near the camera what does it look like it's a leaf can you put your camera on everybody so that i think i can see some reaction yeah now tell me the first thing when you cut comes in your mind when you are describing this leaf yeah hello ah ha ha okay yeah read can you go on mute oh, no it's okay uh, no i want an answer back so i don't want to to anyone to go on mute tell me the first reaction describe this thing to me describe it it's to me a, just describe it it's a cocoa okay the and first thing that the first thing that comes dying. in your mind it is slowly dying okay it's a big leaf mm -hmm. come on everybody else i want everyone to say one one thing come on someone else say something about the leaf the first thing that comes to your mind when you see this leaf over watered okay hmm it's yellow okay uh, it's got a beautiful yellow color and ha huh. nice and big okay uh, how do you identify this i mean ha huh? it is dying the brown spots are very yeah there are a lot of brown dying. spots one one for one side of it is actually become dry there is a hole in it it has been overwatered yeah, it has not enough water yeah it, it has not enough water it did not get so enough yeah water. so it is just water. yeah it has not got enough water so it's just okay 
So it's just fading away. It is just fading away. Okay. Now, if you look at majority of the descriptions that came for this leaf, the majority of the descriptions of this leaf, if you hear that the brown spot, hole in it, no, uh, fading away, overwatered, about to die. Do you realize what is the common thing in all these? I somebody needs to go on mute. Who's talking? Sorry, ha. Okay. If you notice, most of the there is a lot of disturbance. Whose is that? Is it? I don't know. Okay. So if you notice, most of the description that came for this leaf is negative in nature. Yeah, they were all negative. Nice. Okay. So that that is a human nature. Human nature is that anytime anything is presented to us, the first thing that we see is the negativeness, the dark spots, the dryness, the overwatering, the um, uh, the you know uh, about to die and all that. But now look at the same leaf, and I want to hear something good about it. Everybody say beautiful yellow color. Yes. Anything else? I'm going to put it more nearer if you can. Yeah. Think. Look at it. It's got so many symmetrical lines. Do you understand? It is so beautiful. The texture is so good. Rina, Rina, you need to go on mute, please. A lot of disturbance. Rina. Okay, she's not listening. Rina, can you go on mute, please? Rina? Okay. So anyhow, I'll just continue. So that is the thing about human nature. Human nature is such that we always see the, first we see the negative aspect. Negative. And then after that, if you sit and look at it, there are so many beautiful things. You know, this leaf, I can still use it for decoration in the house. I can use it for, um, um, you know, fanning myself. Okay, this leaf had given a lot of oxygen to me. It had, it, it has got such a beautiful pattern. I can use it to wrap something. There are 101, thousands and thousands of good things about this leaf if I decide to look at the good points of it. So there's a very, there's a very important lesson here about attitude. Okay. How long do you know this leaf? Probably only a minute or two. But somehow our nature is such that, do you really love this leaf now? Once you saw all the good parts of it? Yes or no? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, so that's the thing. You know, everything in life is a package deal. It's like buy one, get one free. You probably know this leaf for only three minutes now, but already the negative part of it does not matter. And what matters is the beautiful, lovely texture, color, symmetrical design, and the light and dark shades of it. Suddenly, you, are, you really are able to see the good part of it. Okay? So, this is a very simple exercise. I want to ask yourself, okay, make a list of all the things. This is an exercise which you can do during the week, okay? Make a list of all the things which are uh, troubling you or which you think is, is giving you imbalance, okay? It can be about people, it can be about places, it can be about circumstances, it can be about anything. Anything that you think is is getting your balance upside down, okay? Make a list of all of them. And the write down, make, 
make two columns write down on one side all the negative things your negative perspective about it that's the immediate thing will come in your mind in your mind okay and on the other side write what is a good thing about it okay every circumstance okay even a circumstances which is seems good will have something not so good about it okay and one of the ways in which you are going to balance your base chakra is by having an option of focusing on all the good that you have in your life because our human nature is such is that we will focus on that one irritating person who takes away your sleep at night we will focus on that one um you know question mark about the future which you are worrying 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 about and you do not focus on the 99 other good things that you have so if you want to have a balanced based chakra then one of the ways is that you focus on all the positives in your life and you need to let go of the so called negatives okay you have to let go of all the things that you have been holding on for a long time because this is very important because this energy center is your base you know people feel depressed they feel anxious they get panic attacks they get they feel insecure all that is because they are holding on to something which is negative and that is affecting them and and these experiences will keep coming so you have to develop this ability when we say positive attitude in life it is not a positive attitude like a you know a uh, theory it is something you need to practice next time you can you can take a leaf and you can keep a leaf into your in your bag and you can remember every time you see a torn old leaf you can remember what is the good about it and you can learn how to get your uh, change from positive um, from positive from negative attitude to positive attitude okay so this is a way in which you are going to use to balance your uh, energy center your base energy center mula dhara chakra that is mula is a root foundation so you have to now there are many other ways in which you can balance it okay one is you eat a lot of root foods it is called root okay so anything which is grows under the under the uh, natural food that grows under the soil you can eat that and the color associated with this is red so use a lot of red okay it's so so basically we are using all the seven colors of the rainbow violet indigo blue green yellow orange red so today we are starting with the okay so today we are going to be talking about the first chakra and you so eat anything red you no know, tomatoes strawberries that's why apple pomegranate that's the reason why i bought this okay eat more of red foods and the element associated with this is earth so spend as much of time as possible on the uh, on your earth uh, grounding yourself on earth you know one of the things i really like to do is walking on grass especially morning grass which has got dew on it barefoot walking barefoot on grass if you can get up every morning or whenever you can even whenever you can just go walking on uh walking on grass go for some natural hikes or trekking if you can be on the outdoors to swimming okay that's one of the ways so anything which is which connects you to the earth you need to uh you need to do that then there are some yoga poses which are associated so basically uh this you have to uh, do one morning meditation i told you i've been doing this for years since 2003 i think i've been doing this morning meditation and this is uh uh being you need to really be grateful for all the good that you have in your life okay so you come from a place of abundance see there are two ways of living you can come from a place of abundance you can come from a place of scarcity okay so abundance is that having a mindset of abundance it's not that you have extra is anybody whoever has money will know that there is no such thing as enough money every everybody will think that oh yes we can get more money but it's not a question of how much money you have it's a question of what is your mindset okay look at the nature look at the trees look at the sand look at the water every single thing in nature is in the mud abundance okay 
So similarly, you have to come from a mindset of abundance. So that is why I say keep giving because in your act of giving, you know, you attract abundance. Okay. So you have to imagine there's a red wheel going front and back at the base of your uh, spine. Okay. And you, you, you look at that and uh, imagine that and in the morning, Three times you can just close your eyes. Can you do that? I think we'll do that right now. One minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, just close your eyes for a minute. Imagine there is a wheel spinning up front and back, a red wheel spinning. Okay, you have to keep spinning this wheel in the gig when you get up in the morning. Okay, imagine it is going front, round and round front and round back. And in your head, you just say, thank you for the abundance and materialism in my life. Thank you for the abundance and materialism in my life. Thank you for the abundance and materialism in my life. See, this is the first wish of humans. Okay, the, this is the first. We always want that food, clothing, shelter. We want to feel secure. Okay, so this is your basic security energy center. Got that? And then there are certain yoga poses which you can do to uh, keep your balance. Okay, so I'm going to show one or two. You can do it if you want with me. It's just one. One of the ones is the tree pose. I don't know whether you can see me. You put your legs together. Move your, to inhale and take your hands up. And lift your leg and or... If you don't want to lift, don't lift for the tree pose, just put one leg on top like this and hold it for as long as you can. Do you get that? This is called the tree pose and this will help you to feel balanced. So first you may not be able to do it for a long time. After some time you can do it for longer and longer. Okay. Or another thing is just lift your hand, put your hand up and lift, lift your legs on top. I mean go on your toes. Hold on for a long time, as long as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another yoga asana for getting a good balance is your mountain pose. Okay? Mountain pose is where you go on your mat and feel like a mountain inverted V so put your head down and see as much as you can hold on there for some time one two three four five six seven eight nine okay this is the mountain pose you know our ancestors most of them they never used to eat on the dining table they always used to sit on the floor. The simple pose of sitting in the Sukhasana. Okay. This is a very, very grounding pose. You know, your base chakra is touching the ground. So wherever you can, instead of watching the TV sitting on the chair, sit on the floor. Okay. Just simple sitting like this. This is also a very, very good asana for feeling grounded. Okay. Uh, then after that, we have, um, we have this, then we have the another pose, you know, in the olden days, I mean, I don't know, most of it was a tradition for us. Whenever old, uh, we have some senior citizens, we always sit and we do namaskara to them, isn't it? Okay. I want you to just sit and just do a namaskara. And when you're doing your namaskara pose, okay, imagine that you are surrendering yourself to Mother Earth and Mother Earth is taking care of you. So, wherever you can, just sit, put your head down, okay, count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another way to get your balance back and to feel grounded, okay, and there is one, uh, Okay, another another very favorite, this is my most favorite asana of all the asanas. When we finish our yoga, 
this is what we do last it is called shavasana it's like a dead body so what you need to do is that you just need to lie down on your back okay and put your hands on the side and imagine that you are in the lap of mother earth can you see me huh yeah so just lie down okay wherever you can as far as possible do that on the do that on the floor okay okay so this is these are certain asanas which are good for you to get your balance okay and just be aware i'm telling you it is your responsibility to keep keep healing your muladhara chakra and the way you do that is focusing on what is good focusing on the positive and letting go of things that do not do not do not give you good good energy you can you can sense it actually you can sense it you know what is it that gives you good energy and what is it that does not give you good energy so please do not store old just let go of old things that happened okay then there is one beeja mantra which is uh, associated with this and that is called lam okay so every energy center has got one beeja mantra and this is one mantra which you can say in the morning when you are doing your uh, seven chakra energy work so every week i will talk on one one chakra and so today's security chakra is all all about developing the attitude of positiveness okay and feeling secure using affirmations say i am secure i am well supported you know many times what happens is that we suppose you are lifting something okay if you have to lift alone you have to put a lot of energy but if you imagine that somebody is there supporting you from the other side okay then you will think that oh if you can easily carry this heavy heavy table okay maybe you know that person might be just in your imagination so you have to imagine that you are always supported the universe is always supporting you okay just all the time remember if you are come over here have this ability to use and you you would put extra strength knowing that somebody is there to support you and you are able to carry that table by yourself okay once you know that somebody is there to support you okay so the beach mantra for this uh, uh, this uh, energy center is lam so we'll close the session by doing nine times we will be doing the uh just say it see, when you are saying this okay close your eyes and i want to hear you all saying this okay as slow as you can imagine there's a red, red wheel moving front and back at your base sit in your sukhasana sit on the floor sit in sukhasana put your hands on your thighs and close your eyes and we will say this lam nine times okay so close your eyes imagine that your base chakra there's a spinning wheel spinning front and back and give gratitude in advance for every single thing that you have so thank you for the abundance and materialism in my life thank you for the abundance and materialism in my life thank you for the abundance and materialism in my life with full energy at your base now you chant the beej mantra for the red energy muladhara chakra take a deep breath lam lam
Rub your palms with a warm palm on your eyes. Looking into your palms, open and say thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Okay, so have a very happy week. Be aware of all the positiveness that you can look into all the things that are happening in your life. Be positive and spread positivity. So thank you everyone. See you next Tuesday for yoga. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.